Generic greetings and welcome back once again to another chill session on House Flipper. Today's beverage is a quite potent cloudy lemonade, no added sugar, I should point out as well. Now, before we jump into the uncle's bunker here, I just wanted to say that the bug error, whatever, has been resolved so we can now see these other properties. Originally, we were looking at either the garage with the bunker or the one we actually went with, which is the uncle's bunker. Garage with bunker is, well, it's just a garage with a bunker in it. We might have a look at that at some point, but I think for now we're going to go to our uncle's bunker and we'll see what we are doing today. Now, in the previous episode, we made a very, very colourful bathroom. Well, actually two bathrooms. One that was very, very pink slash purple and the other one is not so pink slash purple. Let's open this and go inside and we can see that. Oh, yeah. So that's, um, yeah. It's, it's it's all the purple, so <laughs> that's interesting. I should point out that I'm not necessarily making something exactly how I would personally want it, but rather just going for something that is a bit interesting, he says, while looking into a concrete box. Anyway, we're going to go upstairs and take a look at one of the rooms, because obviously we do want to do that. Now, there's several ways we can go. We have, obviously... The bunker downstairs, which I'm not going to touch in this episode. We have the master bedroom in here, and then we have the uh, secondary bedroom, child bedroom, or study, as it may become in there as well. So not too bad. This area here is obviously the main living area. However, it's it's very strange, uh, a strange layout because it's just basically full of doors. Now I would very much like to remove this door and brick it up, but I don't think we can do that. In fact, I'm fairly confident we can't do that. So the the only other option is to basically put up and shut up. Now, I think what we'll do is probably take a look into this room and we're going to have it so this area is like the kitchen area, so we'll have maybe like a kitchen unit that goes along there, maybe even along here a bit. I might sell that radiator. I might even sell that one as well. And then in this side, we could have like either some tables and chairs or perhaps like a a seating area where we have like a maybe a small couch going along there and then a TV. I'm not really too sure about this corner. It seems to have the outlets in this corner. And as you can see there, all the connectors for that. So potentially an area for, like I said, a, a TV and, and such. But it wouldn't be a large one. The seating would be a problem because we'd probably have to put the seat uh, maybe here. So again, it's very, very close in. So it's all really up in the air. And then you've got this area in the middle, which really doesn't have any purpose because, you know, it's all a bit where you would walk through so maybe just a big rug and then there's some tables and chairs we'll see how it goes anyway the first thing I'm gonna do is look at the flooring and I want to make it probably fairly neutral in tone in here we're not gonna go with the bright pink and we'll have it as probably some greys I think that might be okay let's go over to our flooring and then to floor panels and coverings and we've got floor panel dark and then we've also got a grey one there well I did say we're going to go for potentially a grey palette let's just sort of well I was going to say just do a tiny section but for the cost of doing all of this it's like a hundred nod and oh yeah actually already already like that so let's go ahead and finish this off and go along there and then in here obviously we will have to make sure that we get under the door if possible no that's fine there that one is done there that one is okay there and that one is also sorted so there is the there is the flooring let's also check out the walls so over to walls and we could go with paneling but i think i'm just going to paint it uh, there's forest mist and a silver glacier now the Forest mist. Oh, we've also got steel grey. I don't know about the steel grey. Let's go for the the forest mist. That seems to be actually quite a quite a fairly decent colour. Let's buy one of those. Um, I think it might be a little bit too towards the cream side. So we're going to go with a silver glacier as well. And this might actually might be too cold. But we'll try it out. So over to our flamethrower. Nope, that is not what you want to use uh, <laughs> for the walls there and we're just going to go ahead and cover all of this and see what it looks like actually the bit I'm doing is probably not the right one to do because I'm going to have this uh, tiled I think so I'm going to start over this corner here and well do I like the look of that I'm not too sure I'm going to go with the other color and we'll see what that's like and we'll do this corner and already I think I'm liking that more between the two colors what goes better on the floor. What I'll do is I'll, I'll meet up to about the middle there and continue on painting around here and then we'll load it up with this other colour and then just try to get around this back there. Uh, which one do we prefer? Well, this one stands out a bit more but that one is a bit warmer. Does it work with the floor? Do I like either colour more? Could we use both colours? All of these are 
potential options. Hmm. I say I don't think I want to change the floor, but that one seems to fit better. So and it's a bit warmer as well. That is a little bit a little bit cold, I find. So we're gonna go with that one. So we will before anything else sell the <laughs> the other one because inevitably I win will end up forgetting. Over to painting there, and then it was the forest mist. I'm gonna buy one two more. We may not need them, but we might as well pick them up while we're here. And then we will continue on along this area. Obviously we need to do all of where we've just painted over, but because it's been painted, you can see we actually get more sort of bang for our book there. We get a lot more on the walls before we have to then refill the roller. There you are. Shouldn't take too long to get this entire thing done. The main focus and the main time, I think, will be spent on probably doing the, obviously, the furniture and such, because that's going to take some time. I think the placement itself is going to be quite problematic. But anyway, we'll see how we get on. I'm just going to complete the windows here before I forget, and then we'll do this side as well and there's that sorted once again that's a quite good distance there to be able to pick up that and then underneath there you can see the original color was a gray color so we are just pretty much um, copying slightly what was already on here but that's not a problem at all let's go ahead and go above the door I will I think have to do the yeah the side here you, you can actually just see some tiles all on temp yeah that's what I was thinking <laughs> I was thinking are we going to get uh, this side and yeah you can see that actually there's a bit that, that section there is going to be problematic because regardless of what we do it's always going to be painted that color which is where yeah we do get some issues there on the outside I still haven't decided what we're going to do there we may take a look at that in subsequent episodes probably we will at least do something about it put some put some paneling on or even just paint it something like that we'll have to leave it we can't really leave it as it is because it's not going to look very good at all and same for the garden as well I haven't yet decided whether or not we're going to do the garden we'll just have to see how it goes but at the moment we'll focus on the internals here obviously going around finishing off this paintwork I could if I wanted to potentially paint one of these a slightly different colour but and have like a feature wall but I think what I'm going to do over where the kitchen area is that's going to be enough of a change I don't think I'm going to need this other tin here we are actually getting quite a bit uh, with this with this roller here and I also don't know how close I am to leveling up to getting the next getting the next um, roller so let's continue on and see how we get on that and ah do I need to go any further not really not really I will paint this because I think having that as tiled may look a bit silly let's just finish this off there we go and that is about right I'll paint up to there and do you want to leave that I think you know what we've got the paint I'll paint it up and then you know <laughs> I don't see why we can't uh, change it later on at least if I've painted it and we decide to leave it as is then we at least we've painted it so there you go and for the sake of what a minute that it's gonna take maybe less I think it's a uh, time well spent so that's all painted paint all that up there may have to do the sides which what you've done okay so that's immediately a lot better I find that's that's actually quite nice one of the one of the great features with the game now is when you when you finish a map, when you sell the property, you get a before and after. So it remembers what it looked like before and it shows you what uh, it's like after. So that's pretty good. So we'll sell all three paint tins. I'll probably regret that because I'll end up redoing bits of it. But let's take a look at like a, maybe an island unit there for the kitchen. So over to our kitchen here and then we'll scroll down. And I want probably a, like a fully, potentially a, a fully built in type of affair. Or we could go with these custom ones. We may have to go with the custom ones. We want, at minimum, some work surfaces. We want a cooker and we want a fridge freezer, I think. That's probably what we'll go for. Um, stuff like that is what I was looking for. Let's check that out. And we can change the colour so we can have grey wood. And Oh, that might be quite nice, actually, won't it? With uh, stainless steel. You've got grey and steel. The... I think I prefer, I think I actually prefer the steel colour and the metal you can change to grey, black and steel. Yeah, we'll just go with steel 
buy now, and we'll see what that looks like if we place this in here. And that actually looks not too bad. That's sort of what I was looking for. Would it be best to, however, go with the custom one? Because then we can build it pretty much how we want. Let's use a dark sink uh, Emmy here. And you can see it's dark grey, dark grey uh, with a black top there. I might change that to stony, maybe. Dark grey top. I think some colour is required. Maybe not that colour. That's very Stanley Kubrick, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, uh, marble, no... Grey marble. Grey marble's got something going with it. Yeah, but I think this I think the snowy actually is the, the way forward. Dark grey and then the snowy. Let's say buy now and what would that look like in here? That would actually look not too bad. Let's let's place it and we'll see what we can do with the rest of it. So this is called Dark Sink Emi. And we've got Dark Emi cabinet with drawers sixty centimetres. And we got this uh, double door cabinet. There's a smaller one. There's an Emi oven, so we're going to use that uh, with the snowy top. And I like the way that it is, yeah, it is actually an oven. And let me just plonk that down for now. Uh, but not a, it's actually not a, it's, it's an oven, but it's not got a grill, a, a bit to bake on it, which is interesting. Mm, these are a bit too traditional for my liking in here. Yeah, we're probably going to have to go with, we'll just go up to the top again. And we want these cabinets, once again, snowy by now. Um, I think, actually, we'll have a couple of those, like that. Because we'll have to put, like, a, a stove top in, if there's such a thing. I assume there is. Because, well, why wouldn't there be? And you've got there, like, double oven. No, no, it is just a double oven. It's not any sort of four burner gas hob or anything like that. Right, okay. Can't see any sinks or anything. We'll have to probably... It'll be elsewhere, I'm imagining. Mm, oh, we've already got a sink. What am I talking about? Um, one of these, maybe? With snowy top. Bye now. There we go. So that's all... Oh, and you can open the doors as well. So we may go ahead and... Do I have to plumb that in? I don't think I do. I mean, I can do that. Yeah, I don't think I need to plumb that in. Anyway, we will place the oven and other stuff in. I'm going to place maybe this in the corner, so rotate that around. There's no corner piece I noticed with this, which is curious. So I'll place that in there. We'll place a I have to say the sink next to that, like so. Another space, which will be the slightly larger one in there. Normally your sink is, is actually right in front of the Right in front of the window, though, so I may rotate these round. Haven't yet decided. Then the oven can go in, and then finally this little one, which will go in there. Does that look all right? It, I think it does. I'm fairly happy with it. What I'll do, though, I'm going to, I mean, in terms of the colours and stuff, yes, I do like that. So I'm going to move the oven into the far, far corner, followed by. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. Let's lay it out so we have that probably there then we'll have that about there I'll put these further back and I think then the oven will go a bit further along to the right followed by another one of these big ones like so does that look okay that looks that looks okay the reason I'm doing it that way is I want to get a well, would it be electrical equipment? That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. So we've got dishwashers. We've got induction hobs. So I do want an induction hob. I think we want... Well, we certainly want a fridge. I'm not going to go too over the top with, like, exhaust hoods and things like that. Let's go with the refrigerator stack there and buy that one. And this is going to go in the corner like so. And it will be just as far in the corner as I can possibly manage this so there we go that fits in quite nicely then we're going to put in this which will go there and then we'll obviously move these along and i'm going to swap that and that i don't think it's going to matter too much but there you go but then this because it's a little bit shorter and we moved it along means you're not going to come in here and bang your elbow off that corner that is 
fine i'm fairly happy with that we're going to go over to obviously electronic equipment back to the top and then we're going to get an induction hob i don't know what the size of them are um that is probably a little bit too large um let's try the other one then the other one is cheaper so hopefully it will be a bit smaller it is not really any smaller at all but what else what what other options do we have apart from those Cooker hood, other cooker hoods, speaker systems, retro computer type thing. Well, it's, I don't think it's retro, but the colour certainly is uh, not great. We've got a water heater there, other small water heaters, electric cooker. Oh, there we go, a gas plate. That's what we're wanting by now. And good grief, the size of that is ridiculous. <laughs> we don't need something that large to cook on. Uh, that's a four burner gas stove. That should hopefully be a bit better. That's more reasonable. Um, the question is, where where do the controls go? I assume that is the right orientation? It is, but you know what? Because of the size of it, I think I am leaning back towards just getting one of these. What is the, what is the best size? That is... Well, I'll put it there, because it looks alright. But the other one... Is that smaller or is it the exact same size? It's the exact same size. Um, I think I do prefer the other one, to be fair. There's not much in it, but I think it's because it's more centralised. And place it about there. Okay, that's not too bad. A microwave would be nice, but because of the space, we are obviously quite limited there. Right, so let's see... What else we may need? We can't ha really have an exhaust hood. We need a fire alarm. Uh, smoke alarm. Uh, no. Alarm. No. Okay. Electronic equipment. Home appliances. I've already checked these. Home electronics. Hmm. Curious. Protection. Sewer, gas mask, hat, reinforced door. <laughs> Barricades. No, okay. Um, trying to see where... Being accessories. Kitchen accessories. Spoons. Oh, I like that. We'll get one of those. In grey. them in there. While we're here, we might as well look down it. There's a kettle. Well, we can't be without a kettle, surely. Rotate it around. Like so. That's better. And all of these things we're putting in are not just decoration. Uh, the people who... Oh, there's a drying rack as well. There's loads of stuff that's been added since I last played it. Um... Yeah, I mean, as I said, the, the the when we when we're placing stuff here, the potential buyers will request that there are certain items in here. So this is all this is not just um, superficial stuff, and for an aesthetic touch. Although there is that part of it. Don't know where to put this plate rack. Maybe there. Can I then fit that there? Yeah. You really don't want this next to the induction hob. That would be all kinds of bad. Um, what I'm going to do then is move the kettle a bit closer. And I'll just put it on the floor for now. And that can go in the corner. Followed by that. You know what? This all came down because I bought that. And quite frankly, I don't even like it that much. And that was okay where it was. Sometimes you just have to go, no, it was fine as it was. And roll back. Right. Uh, a bit more in the corner. Because why not? A bit more aesthetically pleasing. Let's see what else we've got. Going down, we've got a small cup, a teapot. Oh, we could actually just get a teapot and a knife stand, uh, a bread box, cutting board, stand with chopping boards. Yes, we'll have one of those. That can just literally go in the corner there in a second. We'll put that down, move the kettle a bit further forward. That can go in there. That can go a bit further back. We want this uh, there for now, and I'll check out. Do I want a teapot instead of the kettle? Yeah, I think we do. There we go. Why not? There's no reason why we can't. 
looks all right. Although, I feel a bit guilty we got rid of the kettle. The kettle's done nothing wrong. Hanging kitchen utensils. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Cool. What colour is that that I went with? I went with grey wood. You've also got this wenge, cherry, loads of other colours. Okay, I think we're alright there now. Let's go back to installations. Is the... Hmm... Ventilation grill. I would have thought that we would have been able to have a smoke detector, but I'm not seeing it. I think it is about, though. Occasional. Oh, and you've got, like, Halloween. <laughs> Old TV and such, yeah. Not going to be. Is it electronic equipment? I thought it would have been. I probably just passed over it, that's all. Coffee maker? No. Tempting detector, nothing. Okay, fair enough. Right, so that's the first pass on the kitchen. As I said, a lot of this is a first pass. Let's go ahead and mainly take a look at something to sit on furniture sofas let's see what sort of sofa we can go for i mean one of those something like that would be nice to like to have in this property but it's unlikely we're gonna get that dark gray dark gray and black i mean let's let's check the air the size of it is just ridiculous isn't it just ridiculous for this for this room if we're gonna put it there See, I was going to put it there, but it might look a bit silly as well. I bet this is absolutely massive. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, a little bit ridiculous for the size of this property. So, I still would like a corner sofa. That could work. That could work. Hmm. No. Corner sofa in there would be very nice. Sun's just starting to set now. I mean, there's loads more stuff out of There's a nice one. Leather corner. Hmm. Black leather. No, it doesn't look great. I think back at the top is where we need to look. And have... We've already taken a bit of a look at this, but we'll we'll try it again. In dark grey. I mean, it wouldn't not go. You wouldn't put it there, but you could certainly put it here, couldn't you? I'll tell you what, let's build it. I'm going to sell these two. I can always put the installations back in anywhere. It's not a problem. That takes a while to pick up for some reason. Um, it's not terrible, but at the same time, is it a good place to put it? I'm not convinced. Hmm. Where would you put the TV? There? <laughs> it just seems a bit strange, doesn't it? Okay. I'm not going to sell it, because I think that's mm, that might be what we end up going with. It's still a bit large for this for this one. I think it's that just that age-old sort of, yes, you might see something you want, and you might have the money for that, but the place you live is just not going to accommodate it. 
dark coloured sofa here. Grey. That's a bit small. It doesn't even look like a sofa. Looks like... <laughs> Looks like a sleeping bag that someone's filled with helium. That's a bit long. That's not a corner one. There's a corner one, but I think I've tried it. Yeah, far too... Far too large. Although... I think it's smaller than that, actually, isn't it? Is it, is it smaller? No, it's larger. It is larger. Okay. I think then we will, for the sake of moving on... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Right. Just spotted that there. Dark grey. We might have a winner here. We might have a winner. Where would we place it? There. Which do I prefer? That one? Just looking at different angles. For some reason, sofa's taking age to pick up. Same in real life, I guess. Or that one. It's no contest to prefer that one. But it's the orientation that I'm struggling with. Do I want it like that? And then you'd put a TV there. Would that work? Not convinced. Right, what I'll do, I'm going to place it in this corner and move on. And I'll come back to it. Sometimes you just need some fresh pair of eyes on it. There we go. Right, so sell that. <laughs> Don't think I'm going to leave it there. Yeah, that, I think that's all right. Um, so, TV. Let's have a look at TVs. And that'll determine what we do, whether we wall hang it somewhere or, or whatever. So, over to our... Uh, where would it be? Electronic equipment, home electronics, and we've got monitors. We've got wall-mounted TVs, standard TVs, microwave ovens, etc. Wall-mounted TV, what sort of size are we talking here? It is not terribly large. I mean, it does fit in there, doesn't it? And could we put a sofa in the middle? Would you realistically do that? Let's play about with something. That will block off part of the building. Right, I know this is not... I know that's not like... The sofa we'd use, but could you put a sofa there? I mean, it doesn't not work, I don't think. Certainly the TV where it is, I don't mind. Well, in real life I probably would, because you wouldn't be able to watch it. And TVs really have one defining characteristic. Hmm. What else could we have? Got a TV... Smaller TV, which you would potentially mount on something here, which would potentially work. Let's go ahead and look at furniture, desks. Is it desk? Tables. Tables. That says enormous dark table. Let's see how what this class is enormous. Oh yeah, they're not joking. That's that's one uh, chunky table. There's a quite a small table. Grey wood. Dark grey. I mean, would you? Would you put a TV on that? Really? Really? You wouldn't put that TV on it. <laughs> mm, okay. Right. Sometimes you, you you don't really understand the scale of things until you see it like that. Yeah, we can sell that table. We can <laughs> realistically assume that we're not going to be using that. Back over to furniture and tables here. We're going to work our way down and see what we have. We could use a round one. That could work. We could have a coffee table. We could... That's a dining table. That's a dark coloured dining table. 
coffee table, dark coffee table. Uh, try the coffee table in dark grey. That there, that's more of the size I was aiming for. Um, another option is you put it at an angle. No, that just doesn't work. Let's place that down. We'll go on the TV. We'll have a look. Back to main TV. Bye now. Only just fits on. But it fits on. Oh, where's the front? <laughs> that's going to say that's, that's not the front. Spin it round. Realistically, you're going to want it like in front of them there. Hmm. Am I just. It doesn't really look right. Really doesn't. No. I think I'm going to give up on that idea. The coffee table idea, I'm not. I actually quite like the idea of the coffee table there. We can get round. We can put plates on it. A bit too far away from the sofa, but. Mm, as long as we can walk around without having to stand on the, either the sofa or the coffee table. Mm, walk around. Can walk around a bit. Okay, might end up altering that a little bit. It's a bit better. It's a bit better. Yep, yeah, okay. Right, so we'll have that. Let's once again go back to sofas. I want to see if we can have one in the centre. So let's just try something like that in grey wood on the bottom. These are all dark grey, dark, dark grey, and then the cushions. You can see you can set the different cushion colours. Green's actually quite nice. So, would you come in? You know, knock on the door, come in, and sofa's there. No, I think we're just going to have to do that. Right. Let's take a look then at some seating. Furniture. Tables. Let's go for... Is that, oh, is that like a glass coffee table? It is. Which I never really like. I never really like the idea of that. That's a coffee table as well. Grey wood. Is that a better coffee table than that one? I think it is. Sell that. Oh yeah, fits in a bit better. Yeah, I like that. Just a little bit better. Let me go. Oh, I can go around. Yeah, you can go around. Don't want to bash your knee off anything. There we go. Did I get around there? Yeah, we're fine. Right, so let's go for a table and chairs. And I think there was one called dining table. Yeah, you've got lots of different dining tables. That's a dining table, is it? It looks more like a ping pong table. There's a interesting colour. Dining table, no. Just a small, like maybe table slim. Go with grey wood. Hmm. No. I think just a four person, four seater. There's a nice coffee table as well. And can you change that to grey wood? You can. I think I've changed this coffee table about four times. Hmm. Don't know. Anyway, back over to back over to our dining table. That looks massive. So no. Interesting. Go for grey. Well, the legs are slightly different colour to offset it. Don't mind it. Don't mind it. So I'm going to put it there. Work my way back. 
and just try and centralize it in the room. It's about there. That's what I learned to do. It's about right. It's about right. Right, let's put some seating in. And while I'm while I'm here, oh, what's that there? That's a nice dining table. Let's try it in grey wood. Too chunky. Don't like it like that. It doesn't fit the room. That's a coffee table. Got another coffee table. Enormous dark table. Is that a card table? That one. Many different options. Um. What size is that? That looks like a large coffee table. I don't think it is large though, is it? Not really. Do I want to place that instead of that wood one? See, that's supposed to be the same colour as that, but it's just not. <laughs> it's just not. I found that the, uh, the game can do that at times. Right, where was that other coffee table that I had. Or was it further up here? That one. That was in grey wood. And the top. Cyan? Or black? By now. There we go. Uh, maybe that, that orientation. No, no. That orientation was fine. Right. Let's finally put in the chairs. We got like these bar chairs. These ones as well look quite nice. Hang on, the violet. That's that. That's no. <laughs> that's the wrong swatch. Hmm. Ah oh, no, they're not going to work. They're not going to work. Too tall. Way too tall. It's all high chairs. It's all right. Dark grey, steel. Mm, yeah. Not terrible. Let's see what other options there are. That's quite nice. I think I prefer that. Yeah, prefer that. Prefer that. That's what we're going with. Two, three, four. Alright. And sell. Darn it. Okay. Uh, furniture tables. Which one was it that I used? That's a coffee table. Why do I keep looking at... Why do I keep obsessing over coffee tables? And I do think that one is better. I don't even have a coffee table in real life. I think that's may maybe, maybe what it is. I'm just really wanting a coffee table. Um, right, so... What was I thought of this table? It was that one, wasn't it? What other options do we have? This thing. It's it looks really large, but let's see if it is it, it is very yes it is, so let's let's not try that. Hmm. It says it's a dining table. Is it though? Is it? Looks like something you'd find on a patio. Let's change it to dark grey. And Dark grey. Oh, actually, you know what? I think that's nice. We'll go with that. Um, shift these out the way so I can make sure it's in the right place. So I'm just roughly putting it in the middle of that and then sort of coming back over to what I think is the middle of the room. It's, yeah, it's near, near enough. I'll put the chairs in. You can hold shift and rotate these round 90 degrees like that. Or you can just use the scroll wheel. At least it like locks, which is quite nice. And just line them all up a bit. You can push them right in, can't you? Yeah. And there we go. Yeah, I don't mind that. That's okay. So, what else do we what else do we want in here? Well, we've got a TV. 
we've got a sofa, got the kitchen unit. Oh, the walls around the kitchen I was going to change. So walls into wall tiles, I think, because there's a tile that I was looking at that was quite interesting. That one, no, maybe not. Uh, <laughs> was it them? 3D grey ceram uh, tiles, or was it was it in here? No, I'm pretty sure it was these wall tiles. We could use that hexagon, but I think it was like that. Hmm. I think it was one, either that one or that one. Let's try. That might not work. That's probably the one I would go, go with. Steel grey. Ooh, that just glitches the texture out. Let's try that. And we want to go to tiling. Pick it up and... Like that. Do I want to do that? Do I want to do that? I'm going to finish it off. So I've got a pack of tiles. I'm going to have to repaint anyway if we don't. Or retile. Mm. I like the idea. I don't like that tile. Should we try that one? Let's try it. I think it will be terrible. But let's try it. Hmm. You know what? It's not, it's, it's not. It's not terrible, I don't think. Maybe it is. Opinions in the comments. And... I quite like that. I don't think I'd personally have it, but... Let's finish it off. Got a full pack anyway, so... Yeah, I, I quite like that. Let's buy another pack of those. I think only, hopefully one more pack is required. And I'm going to tile up to there. I don't want to tile up to the door. I think that was a mistake. I think it was f pretty much fine where it was. So what I'll do, I will tile a little bit further along to there. Yep. Okay, and we'll do here, and we'll do the sides. I think I'm going to have to buy one more pack of tiles, because we've got the top to do, and we'll probably get this the five out of it. Two, three, oh no, we're going to need another pack. Yeah, I like that, I do like that. By now, that's that's the sort of thing I was going for. I just wasn't convinced that these tiles would fully work. I mean, they're going to be horrible to clean because of them all jutting out, and they're going to get bits of food and crumb in them, and ah, you you know, it's going to be <laughs> going to be a mess. Uh, let me tile that little bit just to see how far I think I want to go. Because um, I'm going to have to buy paint anyway, so I don't want to go up to there. That's mm, we'll see. Okay, back over to. Paint, yeah, so walls, paint, and it was the forest mist, I believe. And we'll place that down, go over to painting, and we will paint at least the first two bits here. Yep, and I think back there as well. Don't want to do it one more. Nope. Oh. Is that over the top? Do you want a bit more? Yeah, I think we have gone a bit too far. So tiling, pick that up. Tile there. And tile there. Yeah. Maybe. No, I think how we had it was fine. There we are. Again, it's only a first pass. Um those light switches. Do I want to keep where they are? I don't know if it was better to do that. I think it is better like that. Okay. 
So we might make some extra little changes around here. There, that just seems to fit a bit better. What does it? I can't. I really can't make my mind up. As evidence, the fact that I've changed it about four times. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna put that down and walk away for now. I might come and change that. So we've got TV in there, nice sofa, coffee table that I do need to uh, shift a little bit further in, like so. I think then we'll look at what else really would we require in here? Well, there's many things we could get, but the problem is space. I think we could probably place something here. It just depends on what. So it wouldn't be installations, it would be furniture, cupboards. We could potentially put like a small cupboard there, although... I don't know if that's going to work. Maybe a, tall, a very tall bookcase, like a quite slim bookcase would go there. Let's go with this one. And you know what? That fits in absolutely perfectly. <laughs> yeah, sometimes sometimes it just drops in. I uh, don't know whether I like the design of it. It's a bit all over the place. It's like the designer couldn't figure out what he wanted to do. Always having some sort of medical emergency at the time I think looking at the design of it well that's too that's too modern that's too garage that's too is a garage or garage hmm oh just a straight up bookcase like that it's yeah I mean it's fine it's just too it's just too big and you could place it there problem is you cover the light switch which is suboptimal having to move books to find the secret light switch don't think it would particularly be keen on that one. Yeah, we'll go with that one. It's a slightly different colour that I'm placing in. Is it? I don't know. Sell both. One, two. And we'll check out the different colours on, on available. you got light, high, dark. We'll go with the dark. It's in dark grey. And dark the rest of it. What uh, rotation do we want? I think the first one was fine. There we are. I think I'll put, just pull it a little bit further off from the wall. And obviously we do need to put some books on that. I'm selling those just so I don't get tempted to do that. Um, something I haven't done, which is in here and in there, is the blinds. So I'm going to do that now because I totally forgot. So we'll go over to doors and windows, curtains and blinds. Got these Roman blinds. Um, we can have lily-coloured blind. Yep, we can. And let's place that in there. So assemble that. So place in the hooks and then screw it on. And then, oh, good grief. That's, I mean, it's even worse, isn't it? It gets worse every time there, right? <laughs> And then in here, we'll go for the light colour blinds. We've got light grey, which should work, I think. Let's try it. You can only try it and see what happens. Hopefully, we can return if required. Eh, no. Not... Uh, no. Plus 10 generic disapproval noises. Not too sure on that one. There's a dark grey one. Immediately, I'm now sure. So, we'll get rid of that. But I will go over to there. Into dark grey buy now. Uh, I should actually go to buy many, shouldn't I? So buy many, and then one, two, three, and that's it. Okay, so that's fine. We'll assemble them. So it was assembly mode. Oh, strange there. It actually would sh showed red that we can't place it. Yeah, I like that. But we can, and we have, and we are. And finally, this one. And like that. Okay. Yeah. Sure we can. Oh, you can. You can turn the TV on. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Thanks for being with us. No bother. Right. We will put a potted plant, I think. Supplies. Oh, it is supplies. Like beans and that. And there's a Jenny Rater. Where would it be? Lamps, bathroom, decorations. Yeah, here we go. Plants. So, plants. Many different options. Just 
something to lighten the place up a little bit. Can you place them on windowsills? That would be nice if you could. Definitely not that. No. Mint, rosemary, parsley. There's a fern. Oh, cool. You know where that's going, don't you? No. Yeah. Sadly, we can't place it on, like, the window ledge, which was what I was going to do. Don't think placing it in there would work. Okay. Close that. Basil. That's nice. Question is, where would you put it? The answer is pretty much nowhere. Well, you could put it down there, couldn't you? Do I want to? Not really. Let's see if there's something else. See, some of these are quite large. And you can't change the pots on some of them. Don't know what the accession with the lots of cactizers are. There's sets of pot uh, sets of herbs in a pot. Lots of herbs and stuff. That's quite okay. Oh, I thought <laughs> that was much bigger than that. Right. Um, I do like that, though. Yeah, that makes sense. I thought it was like a, a fairly big... Fairly big um, plant, that. That's large. That just seems far too big for any position in this room. Yeah. I do like something something there though. It does seem to work. It does seem to work. Um let's go with there's a yucca. It will be big though, won't it? Yeah, and it covers the door. That pot seems far too small as well for the root system and that'll potentially have. I do like the idea of a plant down there. Let's go with... Something like that. That's oh, even smaller than the other one. Just trying to breathe some... life into this place. That pot you can't change. There's a fern. But again, you can't change the the pot. Looks alright, that though, I think. Am I trying to convince myself or you? Don't know. Okay, we'll stick with that for now. And this hopefully will work. Because it's a 1.2 meters. And again, no, it's because of the size of it. It's just not going to happen. At least it tells you 1.2 meters. So where was that? Where was that in this list? Oh, that might... That might go in. No. I just want something below the TV. Ah! My favourite. Peace, Lily. Oh, yeah. Ho, 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 now we're talking. That's too much enthusiasm over a plant. Right, that's now in. Um, these have got... That's got a grey pot and that's got white pots. So can we sell that and get a white one? I'm pretty sure we can. And you can change the flowers on them as well, which is brilliant. But we're going to go with that. And there we go. That is... Okay. Right, final touch then, I think, is to go for books. And we'll go for book sets. And I'm just going to say buy many and start placing them in here. I don't know what they are. Um, cookbooks or whatever. Um, like I say, I'm just going to randomly place a couple of them like that. Go back over here. Change the um, change the type that they are. Once again, turn them sort of spine onwards. Um, and place them in there. That's actually a bit too far back. To, it's hardly even on the shelf. So place them on one row back. There we go. And go back to those ones, buy many, just rotate them, fit them in there, and can we get one on the top? We probably could, but we're not going to. 
Apparently they're not. Brilliant, these. But they'll fit in. And there we go. Maybe even plant on there would be nice as well. Go back over. And then we'll have another fern. Which will go there, but I need to be on a high surface. So I'll stand up here. Put the fern in. <laughs> and there we go. Right, I think we will leave it there for now. I'm fairly happy with what we've accomplished. It's pretty much looked roughly like I what I had in mind. Um, by the way, this is also telling us we haven't got a shower in this corner. See, it's got... Th wh what? Um, cell. Cell. It's putting the installations back in for some reason. So, yes, I'm fairly happy with what we've accomplished obviously this is just a first pass on the whole thing we might come back and change things but we have lighting we have all of the blinds obviously seating nice little coffee table although we had about 40 dip bought and sent back a nice area in the center to sit down and eat socialize etc tvs in there put some nice pot plants to aerate the room and give it a nice little extra touch although we should probably do something about the garden outside it's uh yeah quite hang on once that's open can i not can I not? Yes, I can. Uh, yeah, and we've got, obviously, the kitchen as well, which is the... I don't think that would work, would it, now that I think of it? A metal... The metal kettle, would that work? It'd have to be a special type, wouldn't it, I think? Hmm. Might get the other kettle back. Anyway, it is what it is for now. Overall, pretty happy. Next time, I think we will look at maybe making the odd change here and there. Normally, time will... Um, you know, change things and see a bit, you know, a bit more perspective. We might put some, I think, a portrait there and a portrait there as well, just to liven it up a bit. And then we'll look at a different room, potentially the study, but there's also, as I mentioned, the main bedroom. Oh, I also realised there's no radiator in here, so I'll probably have to fix that somehow. Most likely, putting some slim ones in somewhere, but you don't need it. I might just, uh, hmm. I'll think about the radiator part of it. Either way, we will leave it there. We can also do downstairs. We've got many different options there. We'll have to do some painting in here and whatnot. Overall, though, pretty happy we've uh, progressed on. And as always, it's been a fairly chill one where we can just chill out, create, and not have to worry about specific coffee table placements. Oh, wait, that's exactly what I did. <laughs> Anyway, hope you have enjoyed it. We will leave it there. Next episode, we'll look at what I've just mentioned. Hope you have enjoyed it and it's been a chill one. Thanks very much for watching. Comments in the comments. Take care and generic partings.